Hello, welcome to Eraser Data Bootcamp. My name is Tupac Giovanni, and I'm the co-founder here at Eraser Gautier. In this video, I simply want to walk you through how to use the Discord environment throughout your duration of the bootcamp. Now, a lot of our users often do not know how to use Discord, which is why we created this video. I am going to share the screen now so we can jump right in into exploring the wonderful world of Discord. Now, why Discord? Discord is similar to Slack, WhatsApp, or any other communication tool that you have out there. Discord is our choice for our bootcamp. Now, what you see on the screen is the Discord environment. <clears throat> when you first get log into Discord is when you join via your dashboard, that is the dashboard on Mr.com, it will bring you to this environment called Just Hopped In. Now, here is your very first view where you can simply, uh, where you get notified that you've hopped in into the Discord environment where others in your Discord will also see that you've just joined. Now, the program manager will add you to the appropriate discount uh, Discord channel that you belong to. And Discord channels have a generic name. For example, on the screen, you can see V4, which means this was for cohort four. V3, this is for cohort three, V1, cohort one, and so on and so forth. So let us just imagine you just joined. You'll be added to something called the announcement channel, right? The Discord announcement channel. And what would that look like? So by the time you're added, it should look like this. Let's click on it. It will just be a blank channel that says, welcome to Bootcamp. Let's imagine you're in Bootcamp B11. You say B11 announcement, which means you came in cohort 11. And in Discord, there are a few guidelines. So it says you have a welcome message that says, welcome to the announcement channel for October Bootcamp. Kindly update your display name and so on and so forth. Now, we expect that everyone who joins Discord edits their name, right? You can't join in with a short name or an acronym of a name or a nickname. It must be your full government name. And how can you update this? You can simply click on your image, click on your image, click on the edit icon at the top right corner of the pop-up that shows up. And it will ask you, you want to edit your user profile. Yes, you want to edit your user profile. Then you to show you to take to the profile view. In the profile view, you will be able to modify your name right here. Just simply change your name from whatever it was to your full government name and you click save, then you click escape. That is how to update your name. Now, like I said, we have two channels. One is the announcement channel and we'll have something called the support channel, which is just simply going to be a duplicate of your channel. So announcement channel and the support channel. Now, What's the difference between these two channels? The sub announcement channel is where the program manager lists. Program manager drops announcement based on upcoming activities in the bootcamp. And we have the support channel where students are expected to ask questions, which means in your course of your learning journey, you will get stuck while watching uh, or taking a lesson and you can ask a question as you can see here on the screen. Hello, good evening, taking the quiz on the SQL but I've been stuck at question five. Can I proceed to the next question? This is a complaint laid by a boot camper. And it is expected that a program manager, a teaching assistant will come and respond to this by simply using the thread view. We're going to get to that shortly. Now, what I would like to show you is how to navigate between Discord and the Resagratia browser. Now let's open Resagratia. Right, this I got here, this I got here come because the entire learning will be where all the videos that you're watching, all the courses will happen on Research Gratia, right? Which is the platform for the bootcamp, the platform you sign in on. So let us navigate to resagata.com. Just waiting for it to load. Yeah, having a little bit of internet issue. Yeah, so right here. And let's now go back to Discord. Now, your roadmap, which is the guideline to what you will learn in your cohort, will be shared via Discord in either of your channels, either the announcement channel or the support channel. 
So how do you navigate to the roadmap? Now, what does the roadmap look like? Let's go back to resagata.com. Uh, we can go to bootcamp page. And if we scroll all the way downwards, scroll all the way downwards, there's a latency in the internet. Let's give it a few seconds. Yeah, so if you scroll all the way downwards, I just want to show you what the roadmap looks like as we wait on this call. Yeah, so the roadmap was you study throughout your 14 weeks, right? This is how it looks like on the platform. However, where will you access this roadmap? If you navigate to your Discord and in either of the channels, just navigate here to the pinned icon, right? To the pinned icon at the top right corner of the screen, right here, this icon here, right? This icon here, pin icon. I'll get to the pin icon and then click on it. Once you click on it, it will show you the roadmap. The roadmap, the link to your roadmap for your cohorts. And once you click on that link, it will auto pop up to create a new tab that links you to your roadmap. And this is your roadmap. More information will be shared on this roadmap in the kickoff session. However, this is how it looks like. I will advise that you bookmark this tab. So all you can always do is just navigate to the bookmark and you can access your roadmap. I hope this was useful to you and look forward to meeting you in the kickoff session. Do have a lovely day.